What's up, y'all? It's Chris. Here to give some UFC 164 predictions. A little bit last minute, but as I always say, better late than never, maybe. It's up to you to decide. Anyways, uh, we're coming off a pretty good UFC fight night. You know, it was good for me as a fan. Um, one of my favorite fighters, Carlos Condit, dismantling Martin Cameron in the rematch, showing why I'm a fan. Conversely, though, one of my other favorites, Donald the Cowboy Cerrone, losing, so... Uh, Otherwise, it was a solid night of fight, so you win some, you lose some. I guess that's the way it goes. But back to the matter at hand, UFC 164. It's a pretty good card on paper. Definitely better than UFC 163 on paper. Let's hope it turns out to be a better pay-per-view, particularly a better main event. It should be, but you never know. I thought Aldo versus the Korean Zombie was going to be a great main event. We saw how that unfolded. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the main card real, real quick. Um, well, actually, one undercard about Gleason team about Jamie Varner. That should be fun. I got Jamie Varner. As far as the main card, though, Eric Koch, Dustin Poirier, good fight perfectly evenly matched up um these guys are supposed to fight a little while back and there's a beat between them i don't know what it is exactly i don't know the root of it hopefully we'll find out uh but these guys have some kind of beat we'll find out at the stair at the way and uh, if they still got a little bit of contention between the two but i favor poyer um he lost his last fight close to swanson coke got stopped by lamas poyer's fought the better opposition beat the better opposition coke's had a lot of coke's had a lot of injuries give me poyer by decision and a fight of the night contender um, Brandon Vera, Ben Rothwell, Vera moving back up to heavyweight. Both guys lost their last fights, but Vera at least looked pretty good against Shogun for what it's worth. Um, Rothwell coming in on like TRT, so he's got that advantage, but obviously he's going to have a side strength advantage. Vera used to be good at heavyweight. Um, I think Vera wins this fight. I think he's a little quick enough to be able to avoid Rothwell from getting taken down and smothered. Or hopefully he doesn't get held up against the cage like he did against in that Tim Sylvia fight, that awful fight years ago. Give me Vera by decision. I think he can just kick, use his Muay Thai skills, stick and move en route to a decision. Chad Mendes, Clay Guida. Chad Mendes is going to run over Clay Guida. Either decision or knockout. Not even going to be competitive in my opinion. Maybe, but I doubt it. Give me Chad Mendes all day. Josh Barnett, Frank Mir. Good fight. Fight fans have wanted to see for years. Finally going to get it. Better late than never. As I said earlier, I guess. Um, sorry to repeat myself. Barnett, first back fight in the UFC in like a decade, over a decade actually. Uh, the ironic thing about this fight, Josh Barnett, who left the UFC after testing positive for steroids after beating Randy, after beating Randy Couture, and has been popped two more times. Yet, Frank Mir is the one coming in to the fight on TRT, got the TRT exemption. So, kind of ironic there. Maybe fitting. As far as the fight though, Favor Barnett in the stand-up. Mir hasn't looked so good of late, although he did hang in there tough against uh, Cormier. It was the first time he lost by decision rather than getting stopped. I don't think Barnett's going to be able to beat him down. I hope this fight goes to the ground, though. Two heavyweights that actually have pretty good ground games. I think it would be a fun little chess match down there. But give me Barnett by decision. Main event, of course, UFC lightweight champion Ben Henderson defending his title against Anthony Showtime Pettis in the rematch. We all know what happened. 2010, fight of that year, one of the best MMA fights in recent years. I rewatched it the other day, still a close fight. Pettis won, though, on that last round, that, that Showtime kick. As far as a rematch, hard to say. Um, both have improved since then, no doubt in my mind about that. Henderson, unbeaten since then. Pettis has the loss to Guido, which kind of gives you a, you know, raises some flags. Red flags. I said Guido can put him down like that. Maybe Henderson can as well. Although Henderson didn't have a ton of success putting him on his back in the first fight. I guess the biggest question mark is what condition is Pedersen? You know, he pulled out of that Aldo fight, which was only like three weeks ago, due to an injury. I mean, um, I doubt he's 100%. So how close to it is he? He wanted this fight, though. It's in his hometown. He's the more dynamic striker, the more dynamic fighter. The crowd's going to be in his favor. So anytime he hits or lands anything, going to get a lot of ovation, can sometimes sway the judges. Ben Henderson, if he can somehow, not somehow, but if he can manhandle Pettis the way he did Nate Diaz, get inside, body locks, throw him to the ground, stuff like that, he can probably get a decision. But I'm going to go with Pettis. Henderson's been winning he can buy in fights except for the Nate Diaz fight. Barely getting over. A lot of people thought he lost his last fight to Gilbert Melendez. A lot of people deserve, thought he deserved to lose the second fight to Edgar. I think this time it's going to catch up. I think it's going to be a close fight. But I think the hometown decision is going to go to Anthony Pettis. Not saying Henderson's going to be robbed, but I think it's going to be another close fight. Three rounds of two. 
but I think Pettis is going to edge it out. I don't see a Showtime kick, but I do see Anthony Pettis becoming the new UFC lightweight champion in what should be the fight of the night. All right, that's my thoughts. One of you guys thoughts on the card, looking forward to it. Um, which fights are you looking forward to? Who you got in them? And how? So for now, I'll be back Saturday night for to give my post-fight thoughts. But until then, I'm out.